Hey guys, um, I just want to share this method of uh, solo role playing um, that I'm trying to develop. Um, every time I do this, it's a different approach d depending on the game that I'm using. And I'm, I'm going to be trying out uh, GURPS from my system and um, using the, uh, the horror um, world setting expansion. And I'm just making it up as on the fly. And I'm utilizing um, the Untold Adventures of Wait board game. It's uh, a game that's um, powered by Rory Story Cubes. It's a storytelling game, but I can use it um, as a like a virtual game master, where um, I, like each one of these cards is a part of the story. And um, so when I, the first one I draw. I have to use dice to uh, fill out a location and what the threat is, and the threat is is affecting someone or something. Um, these have uh, meanings on um, uh, on a description card, and to progress, I have to use up all these chits. And there's like a question one and action. So the way I'm using it is that uh, I'll be asking the, the game questions. So when I so to begin with, I rolled a bunch of dice and I try to figure out uh, where they they're suitable, where these pictures are suitable for these um, spots in the game card. And so for location, I saw a house. So there's a house, and the threat is fire. So my character's walking down the street, and the rest is up to interpretation, right? So my character is just a regular guy. He's a teenager. He's actually a teacher's assistant. He's just finishing school, and he's walking down the street, and he sees a house on fire. Um, so, uh, okay, to explain the rest of my method, I'm mostly using the Adventure Crafter card deck, and the Mythic card deck, and the GM's assistant card deck. Um, these are just going to be for r random events or uh, descriptions or what if I ever need help with anything. Um, I'm also, I've made these cards myself too. So I have, I made, a, I'm using um, an event deck. And so one of these cards uh, represents my character. And then the rest, depending on, um, I know this is really complicated. But I also make up, uh, I'm using the mythic chaos factor. So whenever things go negative, the more um, cards that I'll be putting into uh, my event deck. And um, it's a round deck for each round. I play through all these cards. So if negative things go, this, this uh, will progress. Or the positive, it'll regress. Um, and um, I also have uh, like one of the cards I'll have a stack of uh, these little ch tokens that I got from another game that uh, represent my health um, each round too I'll be using the Adventure Crafter deck for a theme and that will uh, determine uh, when I draw a card uh, what theme, if it's action-based or it's a mystery-based or tension, that'll decide what um, what's happening for an, for an event. And I'll play through. So I'll, I'll give you an example of play. So my character is walking down the street and he sees that there's a house on fire. Is it someone I know? So I'm using the question. Is it someone I know? And then I'll use these cards. That came with the Untold Adventure deck to to answer. Yes, it is somebody, but so then I'll drop a reaction. But it was uh, a like a neighbor or somebody that I knew who's actually. Uh, pretty upset with me but I'm still concerned because uh, life uh, some people's lives are on the line and the house is on fire so um, should 
Is there a safe way for my character to go in? Another question. Yes, and... and but... Yes, but... Um, it's very smoky, and my, vis my visibility will uh, be held back. See, like, when I'm drawing these cards, it's a lot of... It's up to interpretation. I forgot, too, like, <laughs> before... Um, after I have everything set up, then I'm drawing from the event deck or the round deck. So yeah, it was my turn first, the, the character's turn first. So my action is, I'm going to use an action jet, and I'm going to try to go into the house to see if I can find, um, if I can save anybody. And then I'm going to look at my character sheet. So I'm going to roll for my dexterity. Nine, ten, eleven. It's right on my uh, deck, so I'm able to get in. And my strength, if I can, um, if the smoke and fire, if I can withstand it. Seven, nine, ten, eleven. Yeah, I can. So, did I find any survivors? Yes. And when it's playing like that, I don't need a reaction. It's just a yes card. Green is yes, uh, I think red is no. And it goes on from there. I'm mostly using the GM's assistant deck uh, to help me develop the story as well because it has uh, um, things that can uh, inspire, um, like random names, uh, belongings, the location, virtue, vice, and uh, just random situations that could happen. And um, so I wanted to find out who I'm sa like who I'm saving from that house, and it turned out to uh, be like a, a lady. And um, is she alone? Here's another dead man. No, but so that's a negative. she's upset so I can say she she wasn't alone she had her husband but the husband died in the fire and I'm writing everything down in like a journal I'm also writing down um, the setup process and what my theme is and um, this is just uh, like act one so every time i go through this if i haven't completed an objective which i don't know what my objective is yet i'm still going through the story but i'm gonna uh, find an objective and um try to get to the objective before the final countdown if i don't make it to the final countdown then i the uh, game came with these cards and there's four of these so i'll discard one and then i have like three more chances to Get. But if I don't get my objective by the time this deck runs out, then the game is over and I failed the game. So going through another, uh, like now I'm on another uh, chapter of the game. Um, just a recap of what I've gone through so far. So a house is, um, I was going down the street and I saw a house on fire that... Um, was threatening a person that was inside. Um, I used my action um, chits to go in and rescue the people that were inside. There was like two people. Uh, one lady, Harriet, um, which I got a name from, from the uh, GM assistant card. Um, she just ran off and uh, she didn't explain anything. She was like in a, in a state. But there was another lady who uh, filled me in, and I got this uh, information by going through a, a G Game Master Assistance card too, to just to inspire me and asking a lot of questions, using my chits and the cards. 
um, so and keeping notes. Um, the other lady that was in uh, was a friend of hers, but she was spying on her. Um, she was like suspicious that uh, Harriet was doing something weird. Her name was Alice, and um, she said that uh, she was performing some magic, which I was a t this is a means terrible secret that uh, I'm going to interpret as a magic. And um, so uh, Harriet was performing some satanic rituals and um, Alice was trying to stop her and in their scuffle they knocked over some candles which uh, resulted with the, the house uh, burning down. So that's just a quick little um, example of what I can do with the um, the Untold Adventures uh, board game setup and uh, utilizing it with uh, solo role-playing. And uh, I really suggest trying it out. If you see it in, a, in your local gaming shop, uh, pick it up and uh, give it a go because it, it can be uh, worked with any kind of role-playing game system. And uh, yeah, it's pretty neat. I've been enjoying it. Thanks.